Oh, hello guys, it's Rob here, 26 Bond, uh, with another update for the vinyl community. Um, but just before I start, uh, just wanted to show you a couple of things that I got maiden-wise this week. Now, if you don't know, Nico McBrain, the, the drummer of Iron Maiden, was doing some drum clinics. Now, he did some in Germany, but also the UK. And I went to one of my local drum clinics, courtesy of Drumnut from Swansea in Wales, went over the bridge in the car, and I attended Nico's drum clinic, which was fantastic. Uh, and I got some lovely things autographed, and I got a couple of photos with him. So I thought I'd start by showing you those. Me and him there. Oddly, I'm in the same clothes. I haven't washed since, in the power of greatness, you see. And another one there. There you go. So I'm going to have those framed up and put on my wall, along with all my other autographs and various bands I love and stuff like that so I just thought you'd get a kick out of that. Uh, I thought you'd like to know as well that he signed some bits and pieces for me as well and I'll show you those here. He signed me a lovely French copy of Seventh Son. What a lovely man. The cracking bloke actually. If you ever, ever get the chance to meet him he's a, he's a right laugh. Uh, this one is first single with Maiden, Flight of Icarus from 83 off the Power Slave album. He signed that. Now he always puts the date on now to 2011, so you can uh, you can see when he signed the autograph. Lovely copy reissue of Power Slave. He signed that for me, Tarnico. And my favourite one, well, one of my favourite Maiden albums. It's probably not as easy to see this one, but he signed that one in silver for me on Somewhere in Time, which is a great record. Uh, so I was really pleased to meet him, he was a great bloke, and uh, there you go, that, that's the ticket from it. Uh, courtesy of Drum Nut, really good drum store down there. So if you're in Wales, you want to get into drumming, go and see uh, the guys at Drum Nut, they're great blokes. Uh, another thing I got made wise really rare and hard to find single, an expensive single in the UK as well. Uh, I think this is about their third single in the UK, third or fourth single in the UK. Purgatory, back with Genghis Khan with Paul Diano off the Killers album. There you go, I got this from Plastic Wax in Bristol. Uh, I was really, really pleased to get that one because it was only one of the UK singles I'm really missing. So I was proud to get that. And I also bought, from down the road as well, uh, a Yannick Gers signed single out of the Silent Planet. So I've got a couple of these already, but this is the first one I've had signed. So I was really happy to get hold of that one. Um, some other things I've got in the post recently. If we stay with Maiden for the first bit and then we'll move over to some different sorts of things. I managed to talk in the Power Slave. I managed to get a first pressing Power Slave. Now if you don't know boys and girls what a first pressing Power Slave looks like it's a rounded corner in a bag. You see the rounded corner and I don't know whether you can see in the light but if you look carefully it's a textured sleeve. If it's a smooth sleeve, it's a reissue or a second, third, fourth press. If it's a textured sleeve, I don't know whether you can see that on the camera, it might not be high res enough, it's a first press. It almost looks like uh, a leather wallet. So have a look at your Power Slave copies. <coughs> Excuse me. And if they're textured, they're first pressing. If they're not, they're reissued. So I was proud to get that. Don't know whether I've shown you this before, but. Uh, I got a couple of bootlegs, When the Beast Came, live at the Palladium in New York from 82. That's a blue vinyl runner 300, number 207. Blimmin' lovely, I love a bit of Maiden. Uh, this is limited to only 90 copies, recorded once again in New York, but on the Final Frontier Tour, and not at the Palladium, but at the Madison Square Gardens, governor. That's the back cover. That goes for about 40 quid, but I got a bargain on that for about 13, I think. Um, another bootleg, Slaughter the Daughter, recorded live in Brussels, Belgium, in 92. Unusual one, don't often see that one. Very nice. Another one, very nice, white label. This is uh, Once Upon a Time in Japan with Paul Diano on the Killers Tour. And this one comes in three colours, peppermint green, orange or yellow. And I've obviously got the orange one. Uh, really pleased to get that and I love Maiden bootlegs. One of my best finds recently is this one. Uh, this is recorded live at Hammy Odeon, Hammersmith Odeon in London 26th of May 83. On the, that's on the World Peace Tour, Peace of Mind. 
This is volume one of a two LP set, and I got this for about fifteen pounds, about twenty five dollars. Uh, if you look at Pop Site to get a value, it's worth significantly more than that. Uh, a bit of ring wear, a bit of general wear, but the record itself plays blimmin' lovely. Um, so other things I've got, now this one's for the lovely, brilliant bloke he is. I always like to watch his videos, but Rob, Panics 1960, Rob from Boston. Know you're a huge Zeppelin fan, mate. Thought you might appreciate seeing this one. This is an original UK copy, uh, a very early copy, K40031 from the UK of Zeppelin. Now it's not a plum, it's the golden green Atlantic label, but it's in blooming mint condition. It's only in mint condition. Uh, I got this for about $15, £9, $15. So that one's for you, mate. I hope your dad's feeling a bit better and doing well. Uh, thoughts are with you, of course. Um, so I thought you'd like to see that. Uh, other things that have come through the post that people might be interested in is Keep the Seven Seas Part 2 by Halloween, German metal band, Kai Hansen on guitar, etc, etc. Lovely covers on those. Uh, for all the fans of my videos that like the heavier music, this is Creator Flag of Hate Mini LP. This is a combat American uh, oh, pressing. Sorry about that. Trying to get that out of the sleeve. Bit of damage on the sleeve, as you can see. Uh, but I got that so cheap, it was almost worth it. Solitary Solitude, Malaya Rage. American thrash band from the early 90s. That's their third album, I think, or second studio album. Uh, another one, American copy on a lecture of Metal Church. I believe this is their debut album from 85. Very cult American metal band. Uh, just the import cut there. Uh, another American metal band, Megaforce Original Pressing. This is Anthrax, first released with uh, Frank Bello and Joey Belladonna. This is the mini album or EP Armed and Dangerous. Very happy to own that. And then I've got a bit of a Japanese one. Pudsy knows how much I like Japanese stuff. So this is like a real nice textured vinyl. This is Aerosmith's best record in my opinion from 1976. Hugely influential rocks and it includes a lovely caricature, photograph. It's got a lyric insert too but it's got an info sheet as well. So as you know, as everyone knows that watches my videos on a regular basis, I blimmin love Japanese pressings. I can't get enough of them. Uh, so you always get lots of extras with them, so always happy to pick them up. Um, moving across to a couple of 7 inches, uh, So Tired by Ozzy I picked up recently from Bark at the Moon, that's a nice condition copy. Uh, Rob, you love this one again mate, this is, um, which one's this one? This is Zeppelin of course, this is Candy Store Rock, that's right, back with Royal Orleans from Japan, nice condition. And then another Jap one, Why Can't This Be Love, Van Halen with Sammy Hagar on vocals. Okay, another thing I picked up recently, Dimmu Borgir, black metal band, symphonic black metal band. I got a live LP out a couple of years ago, The Invaluable Darkness. Uh, nice packaging and got this for about £7, uh, mint unplayed. It's from uh, EMP, which are a really good mail order in the UK. So I've not played that one yet, but look, look forward to doing it. Um, this one here, I bought a batch of records from a shop in Trowbridge in Wiltshire and I saw this, this is an original copy of Dehumanizer from 92, Sabbath with Dio. Uh, and I was going to buy it until I saw on the back, water damage, and thought, oh blimey. I'm not going to get that now because I don't like having things which aren't in that good condition. But because I bought a few albums, a bloke threw it, in, threw it in for free, so I was more than grateful to him. And uh, anything with Dio and Iommi I, I, and people like that involved in is going to be brilliant. So I was happy to pick it up, actually for nothing. <coughs> this is Master of the Moon. This is a, a reissue by uh, Steamhammer SPV in Germany. This is Master of the Moon by Dio. Not coloured. They should have done this in purple vinyl, really. Um, this is like a standard heavy black vinyl. And sounds rather good as well, everyone, I have to say. Um, last couple of things I have got to show you 
is this, which is not from 1979, RCA. Uh, I believe this four track EP was released uh, just after they signed a deal with Harvest Records, I believe. Uh, so RCA were trying to cash in on the Scorpions back catalogue. Uh, this was released around the time of Love Drive, which was their first album off RCA. So that's quite hard to find. So I was pleased to pick that one up. And is there anything else? I think, just a, I don't know whether I've shown you these before, but Presto by Rush. And I've got a show of hands as well. And I think I've shown you those two. So that's pretty much my recent finds for the last couple of weeks. I hope everyone's really, really well. Uh, enjoying watching your videos as always. And if there's anything uh, in my collection that you particularly would like me to delve through any particular bands, because I've got most of them, let me know. But uh, more Maiden stuff on its way. And I always enjoy showing my Maiden stuff. Big fan of them. Probably my favourite band, really, them and Kiss. Uh, and I think probably the next video I'll do, I might show you some of my Kiss collection if anyone's interested. Uh, I know that Derek, Derek Vaughan will probably uh, skip that video, mate, and everyone's entitled to their opinion, but I quite like him. Uh, Lazarus, will you be watching it, mate? I hope so. Uh, so, yeah, I'll probably do that one next. So uh, keep an eye out for it. Everyone take care. If I don't see you all, I'll speak to you all before then. Have a fantastic weekend. But cheers.